Hey everyone, Zen of Resbox Productions, and I still can't find my hoodie, or my other hoodie for that matter. <laughs> and I, I don't know where they are, but so I guess I'm going without them again. But, but anyway, back to what we're doing for this video. So, Jose Rodriguez suggested I look at the top 15 anti-drug PSAs. And, and if, and if you don't know who, what they are, and I don't understand if any, I don't know if anybody doesn't at this point, like, they were anti, I mean, yeah, anti-drug PSAs, it's pretty self-explanatory, but they often use tactics that would often fall, it fall well within the borders of nightmare fuel, <laughs> where, um, in order to scare people to scare people away from taking drugs, often to often to some, often to like the the utmost extreme to get people away from taking drugs. <laughs> sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't, because a lot of times they a lot of times they did resort to presenting stuff that was sometimes factually incorrect. But yeah, these were popular back in the 90s. If I from what I remember, there was there was a whole lot of these all over the place, and I know they're still around. They're still like the truth doing their anti-smoking one. But, yeah, but there isn't, like, these were, like, these, these were, some of these were, like, a treasure trove of laughs or a treasure trove of horrors. So we're going to be looking at the top 15 weirdest ones, I guess. So, let's, without further ado, let's get to the video. The top 15 creepiest anti-drug PSAs. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the, that one about what, what was it, heroin does to people? And you go and smash you it okay? with them. You, you look a bit lundy. Oh. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that cocaine. Uh, oh, you're okay. Not looking so great yourself, dog. Oh, I've heard this one. He's just blocked up. Yeah, with skin and bloody bogey. Here we go again. Well, this is kind of. <laughs> Pablo, okay. This little partition that separates us. This little partition that separates us. We could be one happy whole. Um. What is wrong with you? Man, I wish I was one of the other well, orifices. Then. In your current state, you look like one of the other orifices. Oh, you look like one of. The... I don't. I... Oh no, I don't want to I don't want to think about what's going on down there. Uh, the fact it's all co oh man. <laughs> Why did you have to put that image in my head? Like, oh, we, you look like one of the other orifices. It's it, it, I don't want to know what's going on down there. The hole there, I said it. Bingo. What is going on with that word? There's a darker side to coke. To find out more, visit talk talk to to Frank. Frank. Oh, right. I remember the, I remember hearing about this one. I never saw this one when it was on when it was out because it's it wasn't airing in the U.S., but um, I, I do find the th the whole thing about Talk to Frank really ironic because um, Talk to Frank Frank was the uh, the character from Scarface <laughs> who died and uh, who died and everything, uh, and he was killed by Tony Montana. And <laughs> I, it got to tell you to talk to Frank. <laughs> it just doesn't. It, I mean, like you're talking to the guy. You're talking to some guy who has the same name as a guy who's killed by a drug kingpin. I mean, maybe there's a thing about here about drugs killing or something. Drug free America, brother. Okay. Oh. I think you need a. I think you need a better act. I mean, this is this is obviously horrifying and heartbreaking, but it's not helped by the fact this kid looks so cheerful talking about this. Nobody make me do drugs. Or I think I remember that commercial because it aired like on the local station down here too, where, where I am. They were like they like to repeat these things. Well, this is a vaguely horrifying. You a puker? Hey. Oh. You know about the new spew stopper? No, no, no I'm alright, mate. Right, well. These people are just. Everybody in this commercial is just completely horrifying. <laughs> ah, freak out free X50. You're obviously yeah, not the, the one day, using that, are you? These came out, you lost it on weed and phew, that was it. Imagine that. You want it installed? With stronger strains than ever before. Mess with cannabis and you could mess with your mind. Ooh. If you uh, Yeah, I'm still not sure how accurate that, that how accurate that that actually is. Because I've been hearing, I've been hearing, a lot, I've been hearing a lot of stuff, a lot of people talking about it, different talking about it, saying that it doesn't do what people often thought it was like with uh, Reefer Madness. <laughs> it's mostly because there was very little research that was being done on it for a long time because like nobody to wanted to. Talk to Frank. Meth Project, loose control. Okay, I've heard about the, I've heard about these. If I had asked, 
Will I lose control on meth? Uh, probably. Can meth yeah. really make you violent? Probably. I or mean, honestly, I this asked, is... Will meth make me steal from my own family? I doubt... <laughs> well, meth makes you... Are you asking the dealer, or are you just asking a, a, a responsible person? <laughs> because they're probably going to lie to you. Brother. Where is your money? Where is it? Ooh. Ew, okay. Frank Hart. Okay, is this another talk to Frank thing? <laughs> oh, I guess it is. <laughs> I never wonder, why is Frank a dog? Oh, right, I remember. He was a drug, he was like a drug mule or something. <laughs> what about smoking? It can do that too. And a lot of other things that are legal, as a matter of fact. Okay, now I feel bad for these fish. <laughs> I'm surprised that PETA never came after some of these, these, P these organizations for animal cruelty. Sniffing things to get high can deprive your brain of the oxygen it needs to keep you alive. You, you really have to torture these poor fish for this? All right, I'm not sure if I've ever heard of this one. Okay, so where are we? The club and everything? Oh, wait, have I s All right. So this is where you go to do drugs, in the bathroom. You're gonna do cocaine, are you doing cocaine off of the toilet? Ooh. Ugh. Oh, this isn't something I really... Yeah, you're doing cocaine off of a toilet. Or you're doing brain matter off a toilet, I guess. Hmm. Every day, more and more people are lining up to destroy themselves. Well... Okay. Well, that was kind of an extreme way to do it. You could have just had him use the cocaine. The... Uh, I don't... Wait a minute. What happens if you don't know how cocaine... What if it's, what if the kid is watching and they don't know how cocaine works? <laughs> and they're like, what's he doing? Oh, that looks weird. I'm not going to do that. And then somebody offers him cocaine. Like, oh, how do you use it? And he uses it the exact same way. <laughs> I don't know why she takes it. She always gets so depressed coming down. Hmm. Done quite a bit of damage in there. I didn't know how many health problems it could cause. The okay, what if you crack your front teeth? This is pretty serious. So, Tim, I'm not happy I don't know he's gonna make it. Right. He just wanted to try something new. Ecstasy. You don't know what right. it'll do to you. Authorised by the Australian government camera. Well, yeah, I've heard that too. I mean, the... Drug Free America drowning. Okay, I think I've heard of this one. A lot of these I remember seeing when I was growing up, so... ...called sniffing. You think you're getting high, but the dizzy, fuzzy feeling is just what happens when your brain doesn't get oxygen. Yeah. I remember this one. This one was actually scared me as a kid, because of, like, the idea of you being trapped in a room, and it's filling with water. And, oh, that's horrifying in its own... It's just horrifying it's in its like own. Jeez. That's how sniffing causes brain damage and death. Well, why'd you have to do it like this? Why not just tell us that's what happened? There's no reason to scar us for life. Drowning. Then your brain is pretty much right. There's no reason to scar us for life like this. But why didn't you just tell us this? Oh, it's, oh, you're right. This is the one that's showing it here. It's meth, not not heroin, isn't it? I don't remember. Whoa! Whoa! This isn't normal. 
But on meth, it is. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Do you guys do a microwave? I like, I like how there seems to be this, this, this belief that if you do meth once, you're gonna start doing that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't remember hearing about this when I don't remember hearing about this like too often. I mean, I'd rather, considering when I saw these commercials and the fact that they went out of their way to horrify us, I actually wanted to do research on some of these. And from what I remember, from what I remember, that some of them don't always do what these commercials say they do. <laughs> Granted, I never, I still never did drugs, but it wasn't because of this. Yeah, because everybody knows nobody will ever do experiments on humans. Take ecstasy. The other guinea pig. I like how this because it, it comes off with the implication that people don't do it. Like professional scientists don't do um, experiments on human beings. It's the Tuskegee experiment. Look it up. Scotland against drugs. I'm not sure if I've ever heard of this one. Some of these I've heard of, some of them I haven't. If they're outside the US, I've never heard of them. Some of them I've seen before. Um, okay. Well, this is my. Oh, oh, oh no! Spots. Rotten teeth. Ooh! Anxiety attacks. Personality changes. Ooh! 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 Whoa! Ooh! Okay. What? Again? Why not just tell us? Why scare the out of us? Why? Why do this? Take speed, echo, or acid, and you can develop any of them. I like how it froze up like that. I thought my computer—it just froze up, and I, it had me worried there for a second that my computer was developing an issue. <laughs> like it? Oh no! It's infected. It's coming to get me. Okay. You can do anything you want to me for fifty bucks. I've seen this one. This one. This one. This one scares me. Her. Sure. Oh no. This isn't normal. Okay, I haven't seen this one. Oh no. Oh no. This is not. I can't. Uh, oh. F I don't even want to think of uh, this one is the one I don't particularly like because I have a younger sister and this is not something I'd ever do. This is not something I'd ever want to do. I can't have sympathy for you uh, for drug addiction in this it case. Is. No, we got still got two left. If I had asked. What does meth do to your brain? I doubt they would have told does you meth anything. Make you hear voices? Or if I asked, can't you just stop doing meth? I doubt the My dealer mom, would have told you any of this. Did she cut a she cut across instead of down? Drug-free America faces okay. This is not going to be the same kind of... Oh. This one might be from the era I was thinking of. Okay. If you don't tell your children about the danger of drugs, you may find a problem staring you right in the face. Okay. A problem that won't go away. Or even worse, one that does. Oh no! That was a <laughs> well. That one wasn't the worst one to me. 
It's just, that one was kind of, I was kind of unsettling to watch, like, having her slowly age, and then, like, um, and then, like, they cover, her, they cover her face. That one was slightly unsettling, but, it, um, that was not worse than the one, the Meth Project, the sister one. That one actually is the most heartbreaking for me, along with the drowning one. Like, I mean, honestly, that's not something I would ever do. It's something I'd, I'd not ever consider doing, and it's the worst thing ever. That's like the worst thing ever. I mean, you sold out your younger sister for 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 meth money. Like seriously, I can't have sympathy for you. Even even you're you're addicted to drugs, and I can't have sympathy for you in this case for for doing something like that. And the other one being the one with the girl drowning. That one being the most terrifying because you see her struggling for help and and crying for help, and nobody's helping her. And it also plays on the fear that I have of like. If a place filled up with water and there's no way out, that's the worst thing because you know you're gonna die now. Isn't it? You have the knowledge now that you're gonna die and there's no escape from it. Okay, so and the, but the worst again and the, the running up the worst one I saw was probably the, the one with the face, <laughs> the nightmare face. That one was actually scary. <laughs> that one was actually legitimately scary in uh, <laughs> just because it just comes out of nowhere. And it made me feel like I was, and the way the eyes are so, the eyes are so big, it made me feel like I was being watched. But yeah, I remember a lot of these, and I don't, and the same question I kept coming up. Why not just tell people that drugs, the drugs are dangerous? Just give them the facts straight. Tell them they're dangerous. Tell them what they'll do. Don't lie. Don't try to scare them away from it. Um, because they're, because they're gonna, because they're not gonna be like me where they're actually gonna go research the medical, the, um, medical records, or uh, not medical records, medical journals and stuff like that about this stuff. They may actually go try it um, to see if that's actually what happens. I mean, it'd be better if you just told them straight out what happens rather than just doing this. Because if you don't give them all the facts, they're going to go try to find it one way or the other. So, I guess with that, I'm going to end this video here. So, be sure to check out my other videos, those prize box predictions and videos with our channels, Prize Box Gaming and Prize Box Reacts. Thanks for watching, and stay jamming, everyone.